Peregrine falcons nearly disappeared from the wilds of North America by 1970. Pesticides did them in. But now, a rebound. Scientists are looking to this top predator to see any harmful effects from the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. And the plight of the peregrine was helped bring, helped bring about the eventual ban of the pesticide DDT in 1972. Bald eagles and brown pelicans were affected as well. Scientists from the nonprofit Peregrine Fund and others are now capturing the birds on South Padre Island in Texas, drawing blood samples to see whether they have been poisoned by oil toxins, by being in the oil or eating oil tainted food. 947. They're also attaching numbered metal bands to the birds, tracking them for future reference. Researchers fear the falcons may be consuming oily prey as they migrate through the area. Toxins may disturb their reproduction rates when they return home as far north as Alaska and Greenland. Falcons in general, they look for a prey species that's, that's handicapped in some way, or, and they'll go after that bird. So if they would see a shorebird that has oil on it that's not flying quite right, as a predator, they'll key in on that bird and they'll kill it first. So they can ingest the oil directly, or they can get it indirectly from, from killing birds that have been eating small crustaceans, shorebirds on the coast and again being that the peregrines at the top of the food chain they'll maintain any of these PAHs is what we're looking for that come directly from the oil. The health of the peregrine falcon will also help scientists determine whether organisms further down in the food chain such as other birds or fish are suffering from any oil contamination. Being at the top of the food chain they're an environmental barometer they're like the canary in the coal mine I hate to use that expression but you know, if something happens to the peregrine, you know that things further down the food chain, things aren't right. There's something going on. After blood samples are taken and the falcons studied, they are released back into the wild. <coughs> making their journey home. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.